Well, today is round two of the God of series. Let's just jump in and check it out. This is God of Chaos. Now, the creator, different from the God of Dynasties, has definitely taken a look at this very closely. This is considered version one PSGD, but it is an upgrade from a previous version one, uh, and then they kind of go into what the changes are and why they made those changes for this tactic. They tested it out with Manchester City, 107 points, two draws, and one loss. So they did a fantastic job. 100, it looks like 119 or 118 gold differential, so yeah. It definitely worked for them. But we're going to check it out with our three teams, as usual, of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. So with all that said, let's dive in and see how our teams did. Well, this time around, Liverpool coming in first with 92 points, 107 goals. Aston Villa coming in fifth with 78 points and 97 goals. So attacking-wise, it is definitely there. It looks like they may have some defensive issues, possibly. But, I mean, Liverpool in first with 92 is still pretty nice. Liverpool yet again coming up against Aston Villa in a final, but this time the Carabao Cup final, winning out in penalties one all. Unfortunately, they lose out 1-2 in the FA Cup quarterfinal to Everton. And unfortunately enough, they get through the Europa League to the final, losing out 1-0 to Sporting. I know there are a lot of Liverpool haters out there who are going to love some of this, but they do win the Carabao Cup final, they do win the Premier League, so I'll take it. Squad wise, goals 25 for Jota, Salah with 22, Nunez with 20, assists 19 for Trent, 16 for Simikas, and then average rating Connor Bradley gets in there with a 734, but a 731 for McAllister. Aston Villa's schedule, we've already seen them lose out the Carabao Cup final in penalties to Liverpool, and then they lose out in the FA Cup quarterfinals, one all in penalties to Arsenal. However, unlike Liverpool, they actually win the Conference League final in Europe 4 1 against Fiorentina. So again, it's not an awful season for Aston Villa, but it's not a, the best one we've seen. Fifth place in the Premier League with 78 points. You definitely could make up some of those points, though, I think, if you took control of this. Winners of the Conference League, runners up of the Carabao Cup, not too bad. Squad-wise, you can see 38 goals for Ollie Watkins through the roof. 25 for Ramsey, 20 for Zaniolo. Assists, 19 for Zaniolo is up there, 16 for Moreno and Ramsey. And then average rating, Ramsey gets a 7.55. Data Hub looks pretty standard, attacking through and through, defensively looking pretty nice. Goals per game, 2.82, 0.66 conceded, 0.77 XG against. Aston Villa's Data Hub looking pretty nice as well. They're missing out just slightly on goals and a couple shots per game and things. Defensively, they got some missing pieces to Liverpool's, but not much. Goals per game, 2.55, 0.97 conceded, 1.31 XG against. That conceded actually is pretty nice for them. Premier League stats, Liverpool with 2.42 points per game, Aston Villa with 2.05. Most goals in first for Liverpool, 107, 10 down with, for Aston Villa with 97. Fewer shots against Liverpool in second with 238, Aston Villa with 362. Most possession, Liverpool 54%, Aston Villa with 51. Most dribbles made, Liverpool making the list with 653. And most shots for it, Liverpool with just over 700, Aston Villa with just below 600. But now, how did Ipswich Town fare in this? Ipswich Town actually comes in second, one point off of Southampton's 111. They do handily win out in, in goals for 123, though. So attacking through and through again, but, I mean, you've got that point right there. As I usually say, if you could take control of this yourself, you definitely can get that point back. You've got eight draws, four losses that you can draw from and, and kind of build on that. Uh, I mean, doing your own transfers, your own shouts during matches, your own training, things like that. I definitely think you could get that one point and then some a little bit back and get first. But overall, in this save, they still did a pretty good job. Somewhat standard affair in their domestic cup run. Carabao Cup third round 1-2 loss against Bournemouth. They got four goals against Arsenal, though. That is fantastic. FA Cup fifth round. You just squeaked out in a 114th or 117th minute goal by Brass here. Bam, that is, that is tough, but excellent job. Overall, you're still being promoted to the Premier League, so you gotta say pretty nice. Squad-wise, they don't have a lot of green, but that's usual. Connor Chaplin with 17 goals, George Hurst only down with five. Assist, 25 for Leaf Davis, who does stick around this time. Average rating Leaf Davis with a 744. Championship stats in second for Ipswich Town, 2.39 points per game. Most goals in first with 123, definitely far off from everyone else. Fewer shots against in first with 307. Most dribbles made with seven with 748. And then most shots were in first with 857. 
So let's dive into the tactic itself. We start out with a sweeper keeper in defend, fullbacks on the left and the right in attack, ball playing defenders in the central spots, two DMs. I mean, this is so far exactly the same that we've seen before, except you've got an attacking midfielder in attack up here instead of a CM in attack on the midfield line. Inside forwards in support, I think, are different. Mark specific positions are DLDRs. And then advance for it in attack up front. Attacking mentality. In possession, attacking with his narrow approach plays pass into space. Focus played on the left and the right. Passing directness is shorter. Tempo is higher. Low crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly and roll it out. And out of possession, a high press line of engagement. A much higher defensive line. Trigger press much more often. Get stuck in. Step up more and invite crosses. So how did it do overall for our three teams? Pretty nice. I would say these two saves, at least, the God of series, the dynasties did a little bit better than the chaos, but it could be, you know, marked down to a lot of different things. Certain individual players may not have performed all that well or may have gotten injured a little more than other, you know, during the other save. But I think overall, definitely two to take a look at. If we look at Liverpool and Aston Villa, yeah, I mean, Liverpool in first, 92 points is better than they had in the God of Dynasty series. Aston Villa doing worse as well. But I think overall... You know, some of the numbers are pretty nice overall. I think you definitely have a choice to take a look at. Do you just want that attacking midfielder or do you want that CM on the line? But I think either one would work well. But that is it for me, 7FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.